This is Maki, the Bangal Cat YouTube channel. I'm Alex. I'm G, and this is Maki. And this is gonna be our top five tips and tricks after a week owning a Bengal cat. Um, and so here are the tips. All right, so our first tip for you guys is get your cat on a sleep, play, eat schedule. And so what does that mean? Um, so in the wild, cats, they typically go on a type of uh, schedule in their day where they sleep and then they wake up and they play or they gather or hunt for their food and then they sleep after they eat. And so the, the ebbs and flows of that day are, are fairly consistent, but you wanna make sure that your cat knows that when you're awake, that's the time that they're gonna be eating and playing. And then when you guys are going to sleep, at least they have some idea of when they're looking, to, you know, when you want them. that litter training is not guaranteed. So the first thing we recommend is finding different locations. Um, set up a couple different locations, see where your cat feels most comfortable using the litter box. Um, second thing would be to speak with your breeder about which type of litter that they previously used. Um, and if all else fails, we recommend Dr. Elsie's Cat Club for the Litter. tip that we have for you guys is have multiple toys prepared and ready to go for your cat uh, to maintain entertainment for him. Um, we like to say that cat, Bengal cats are bridging the gap between cat people and dog people. Um, that being said, Bengal cats love the attention. When they're awake, they want to be played with. Um, they like to play fetch. They want to play catch. Um, they just want attention. So. Um, you know, think about multiple toys. It doesn't have to be store-bought toys. It could even be simple household items that you turn into something that's exciting to them. For example, um, aluminum foil. If you ball it up into a little ball, the, the, the noise that it makes and then the fact that it rolls um, makes Maki go crazy. Another thing is boxes. Third would be sheets. Just some sheets in your bed. If you just run your hand through it, you can pattern them out like crazy. Um, so those are just household items as an example, but one more thing, his favorite toy is actually um, a fake mouse. So. Um, the next thing we learned as Bingo Cat owners is that if your cat isn't using the bathroom that many times a day, it's probably because they're not drinking enough water. Um, we found through research that Bengal cats really like running water. So we found an awesome water fountain s type thing on Amazon. Maki's infatuated with it. He loves to watch it. He drinks from it. He puts his paw in it. Um, he's gone from using the bathroom once a day to three to four times. So the last tip that we have for you guys is we actually clicker train our cat. Um, so Bengal cats actually take fairly well to clicker training. Um, so what we actually do for our cat is instead of free feeding him um, at you know two to three times a day, we actually take that opportunity to train him um, at those those scheduled times. So for instance, uh, around 8, 8 a.m., um, you know midway through the day around one, and then around five to six p.m. at night. Um, Typically that's when Maki is looking for some food. So we take the same amount of food that you would take um, if you took a whole bowl and free fed them, but I just, I do clicker training. So I'll give him one to five um, of his kibble um, every time that he completes something that I click for. Um, and this has been a really effective method in getting Maki to one, learn his name within the first week, Two, I'm able to direct him with my finger. Um, and three, he can actually give G kisses. Um, so those are just an example of, you know, super easy to learn things that we've taught Maki within the first week just by setting him on this clicker style. Feed. There you guys go. That's our top five for first time Bengal cat owners. Like and subscribe for more content and comment below your favorite top cat tricks as first time pet owners.